Hello there people and good morning. This is Mr. Critic and you're watching uh, my let's play of Panzer General. So, part video part 5 of Operation Norway or Weserubung. We are playing for the Allies and it is, I think, well, I do not think, I don't know, so we'll just check. It's Allied turn 11 with 15 turns remaining. Uh, before I begin, uh, yeah, like I s wrote under the previous video, sorry, you know, um, after I took this uh, the second pause, you know, uh, after the second turn, I had a really long phone conversation, I, and I mean long, you know, like two hours, and when I came back, uh, I realized that, again, those pesky security updates were due and you know the computer restarted and everything and since it was so late uh, I didn't want you know to do anything but I managed to solve the situation this morning uh, nothing is lost uh, only you know the video is kind of short for my usual videos uh, you know most LPRs make them 30 minutes long I tend to go well, for about an hour, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but you know, it depends in general, I prefer longer videos, and from your comments, uh, I can see that you too, uh, well, it's just this sort of a game. Anyway, um, perhaps one good thing that came out of this is that now I'm, you know, playing uh, the game in the morning, um, which... Uh, give me a second, coffee good, you know. Mm. Which, uh, by now you have probably noticed uh, that I do much better in the morning than in the evening. You know, in the morning my mind is fresh, I have... Op often, not always, often some very innovative ideas what to do, but in the evening, you know, I get tired and, you know, You know, you know, you know, you know. I'm constantly saying you know, but this is because you really know. <laughs> okay, uh, so let us see now. This is the air map. Only one unit remaining, but it is a pretty nasty one, you know. 109 fighter with one star of experience going towards two stars. You know? So we'll have to get rid of this uh, bastard as soon as possible. As for ground units our line here around Lillehammer uh, you know is solid uh, there is no way we'll lose the city of Lillehammer uh, however I'm not sure where these guys are going heading actually um, I am hoping that once we take over the, s the, the victory objective of uh, city of Stavanger uh, well actually the airfield next to it then then they will turn back because I don't want them you know going through the woods and mountains and try to reach Trondheim since um, then we would have to you know divert some of our forces especially tactical bombers to deal with this tree we'll see what happens here still we have a standoff yeah the best the smartest thing to do now since our battleship is safe and with the movement of 4 and sub with the movement of 3 uh, you know, the sub would not be able to catch it we would probably you know um, well, the best thing to do now would be to send T-boat south as well um, but you know, I'm obsessed with destroying uh, all the enemy units and uh, if we have we get an opportunity later in the game I want to have a T-boat here ready and waiting to finish off this sub as well. Uh, now why would this T-boat be of some assistance in the south? Because even though here around the city of Stavanger we have defeated the Kriegsmarine, but now we have, will be facing the major threat down the city of Oslo. And this is, uh, you know, the big guy uh, that I am kind of afraid of. This is a battleship. 
has a range of 5 and our best cruisers have a range of 4. It is also supported by a heavy cruiser and this destroyer. Um, now this is not the best um, battleship of the Kriegsmarine. Um, as you can see the stats here, ground defense of 9, air defense of 9 and uh, anti Sub warfare, I think this means uh, ASW defense of nine. The battleship type uh, BK has all those values, all those three values, um, you know, at 12. But still, this ship is better than our heavy cruisers. Um, and since plenty of our cruisers are now, you know, well, not plenty, but two of them at least. Uh, only at half strength, it could be somewhat difficult. It could be somewhat difficult. And and take a look. If we attack with our tactical bomber, we, you know, projected losses. We'll lose something. The battleship will not. Now, of course, don't ever completely trust uh, the projected losses. And most likely, eventually, you know, we'll have to engage the battleship with our airplanes but you know um, we are going for Denmark too not only for Oslo and you know we have to get rid of these three ships uh, well, you know, without losing half of our fleet uh, so as for casualties if you remember yeah we were unlucky lost another destroyer too bad but otherwise we are winning now for the part that I'm actually proud of. Um, I have noticed that <coughs> first I was thinking, you know, greedy. Attack this tank with one tactical bomber, then infantry with another, and then, you know, uh, attack the transport, for example, with our Spitfire. But then I thought otherwise, you know, if we bring this air defense closer and attack with our tactical bombers this tank and this transport, park our speed here, it will be, when attacked by this Messerschmitt, it will be in range of at least one air defense, if the Messerschmitt comes from the left. But if it comes from the right, then there are three air defenses, and this means that we'll finally get rid of the last threat in the air, uh, for the time being, of course. Uh, the enemy can still purchase more. So first, let us do what is very obvious. First we'll bomb this tank. Come on. And now we'll bomb this transport containing a heavy weapons infantry. Okay, at least no losses. <coughs> nice. And now we'll probably bring our speed to defend uh, these two tactical bombers, but wait for one more thing. This Spitfire will use to... well, actually will retreat it. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because I want to have three fighters in the area to deal with this Messerschmitt if it, it attacks from the left. So now, go here to refuel. You get elite. Yeah, it's ex expensive, but you know. Um, we have to keep the control of the air in our hands. Otherwise, you know, who knows what can happen. You know, you know. Mr. Critic, stop saying you know. Okay, uh, for this hurricane we'll attack uh, the destroyer. I'm counting on at least, you know, one kill. <laughs> and then we'll have one star of experience. Okay. Wonderful, we have survived. Now do some damage, please. Oh, wonderful! Perfect, actually. 
Yeah. And now we'll take over this airfield. So first we'll attack it with our light cruiser and of course move forward. Nothing. Okay, but we have more units available. So now we'll use our heavy cruiser, move it and then attack. <laughs> ah, damn it. Another light cruiser. This one at full strength. I think this now should really work. I mean, otherwise, what's the whole point? Come on! Yeah, somewhat better. Uh, what can we do with uh, these two cruisers? Well, both can advance, of course, but first, perhaps... Let us see what happens if we attack this destroyer, you know, just in case, perhaps we'll actually leave one of the cruisers behind. Not likely, since we'll need them all to face, um, you know, these three ships, but, but, you know, just to be on the safe side, if something goes horribly wrong. So, attack. Excellent, we have fired first. And now this destroyer is out of the picture, so we'll just ignore it or perhaps leave it for our battleship, you know. Uh, <laughs> what's the matter with me today? Um, when it arrives. Or some more target practice for our airplanes, who knows. <laughs> okay, now the destroyer will advance. And also our light cruiser. And the inf is finally gone, I think. Excellent! Time to save. I don't want another upgrade to kick in and then start over. So, we disembark our British infantry and one more victory objective is ours. Okay. Um, now the rest of the units can advance as quickly as possible. This is in the end a race against time and you know <laughs> Damn it! No, no, I'm not high or anything. Trust me. Uh, just uh, kind of listening to myself what I'm saying. Uh, so uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, now we protect our two tactical bombers. And I have also decided to disband. Uh, this Norwegian infantry. You'll see why. Uh, we'll have we have to make room for Matilda after attacking, so we have a place to retreat it, and we'll also, of course, need more slots available to purchase new units when necessary. So you go away. Now we'll shell this tank twice. Nothing. Too bad. Oh, one thing I did not do correctly. I should have kept uh, this transport alive until we have dealt with this tank. Since. Oh, well, not this time I didn't say it. Since if we force the tank to retreat, now it will retreat on this hex. But if this hex, uh, you know, 
<laughs> would have been occupied, then the tank will, would retreat here, so yeah, my bad, sorry. Still, we continue with the plan. Shell the tank again. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Matilda, well, one one. So let us first try with the Matilda. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. One suppressed. Nah. Why even bother? There is no way we can now destroy this tank, so we'll just take put. And of course, get this heavy weapons infantry out of the transport, give it fuel and ammo. Air defense, come closer. And these two imps, you retreat here. You retreat here. So we are no longer on the river hex. Now for the rest of the units, mm, we'll provide all of the Norwegian infantry with elite replacements. Again, I know it, it's more expensive than regular. However, they will still be required to take over some non-victory objectives and I want them at their best. Just checking if we can provide more units with fuel and ammo. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, so I don't think we can now purchase anything around. No. We cannot. We have to first take over the city of Stavanger, then we'll purchase some more units. Um, elsewhere we are doing quite well, so... This is it, I guess, for the turn. Yeah. Let us save. Norway, 0 29. Um, casualties, I don't think much has ch changed. No. Nothing really. Uh, let us give the enemy its turn, time, then time for a little pause. And... Oh, god damn it. This I didn't expect. <laughs> my bad, my total bad. And since now I have... <laughs> More Luftwaffe. Oh god damn it. Ay 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 ay. So now we'll have to retreat or Why the hell did not did I not place a fighter here? <laughs> yeah, because this was the maximum range of this bloody 109. As you can see, current fuel of 29, maximum fuel of 42. So, just one more hex and... Damn it! Now, this is the mistakes I'm talking about. Um, we all make them. Um, but, you know, when I... When I play uh, this game f for myself, I really study everything, you know. count all the hexes, everything, but... Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, too bad. Let us... Well, we saved the game already, right? Just in case. Save... Norway 030. 
and time for a little pause then I will study the battlefield and be right back uh, yo I'm back and you know after very carefully studying the battlefield um, now I'm really actually even more sorry about the mistake I've made uh, with this fighter here <laughs> damn it <You> know. <laughs> suddenly will require prestige everywhere um, prestige for purchasing units to continue with our counter-offensive and have a bad feeling that well we'll see the obvious things first of course well of course so just take a look at uh, these punks here two 109s two 110s and the only good thing about the enemy purchasing uh, air units is that they are really expensive and hopefully uh, the enemy will run out of prestige but now okay south south our naval battle group has to advance Here is a bottleneck, uh, but our cruisers have a priority, I believe. Um, yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, and now, since I don't think that the this battleship will actually reach anything uh, in time I think I'll just use it to finish off this destroyer um, yeah one more turn for it wasted but we'll need a lot of prestige you'll see why soon enough so die Hurricane will now park here and will also take over uh, the non victory objective of Stavanger. So, prestige is rising. And now we'll purchase two units one air defense here and one infantry in a transport here very important for our counter-offensive uh, on the land uh, so air defense here and we'll go for I think let me check something, the stats, uh, infantry, six, two heavy weapons, the same, oh really? So then we'll go for the regular, um, leg movement of three, in my honest opinion is worth more than um, better ground defense and some air attack value, so, okay. So now we are also ready to start taking over uh, the coastal non-victory objectives while we are still, you know, in a position to to guard our newly taken victory objective. Uh, if these units will turn south, and it is very likely they'll do so, We'll place an artillery here and establish, you know, a modest but still um, useful line of defense. Uh, now for our major problem. 
we have to deal with the Luftwaffe and I'm really not happy about it uh, I was thinking about retreating a fighter here but uh, you know to, to get uh, reinforced however <coughs> This one still has plenty of fuel and will just fly around and destroy it. So we'll move it here. <coughs> Since this means that this fighter will not follow, otherwise it will you know just uh, run out of fuel eventually. Uh, not being able to return to the airfield near the, near the city of Oslo. What do I mean actually? 29 of fuel, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so only 20 of fuel remaining and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11, 12, 13 oh shit again my bad, sorry holy 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 <laughs> so it can follow us it. and still return <laughs> so perhaps the original plan was the best uh, yeah we'll again lose a unit we'll also have to disband one but I think I have an idea what to do uh, first we'll place our fighter Norwegian fighter here then our British, almost, no, uh, totally crippled Spitfire in the middle, and sp another Spit here. We'll also pull back this air defense to be closer, and now we'll attack this tank. Excellent. And fly here to refuel and also to be protected by the fighters. Still one. <laughs> now, I hope we can force this Matilda to retreat. No, not <laughs> it. With uh, this Matilda to force this Panzer 3G to retreat and then we'll of course bomb it again so let us see how this will work come on come on, come on, push it back god damn it 0-2 Zero two. Hmm. Okay, but here we are highly entrenched, so perhaps some help of the artillery. Yeah, why not? Come on. Ah, uh, nothing again. Come on. Okay, now things look better. So come on, either destroy it or push it back. Nice. Now we also retreat our other tactical bomber and here we'll purchase uh, another air defense after of course we disband one unit which one mm, you you have to go I'm sorry okay air defense uh, 
we can place it here so it can also serve um, well does it really matter no we'll place it in the middle so no matter where the enemy attacks we can of course uh, counter attack so in the middle here time to save Norway <coughs> 031 mm -hmm. what else can we move what else can we purchase okay here we can first shell this inf and uh, this will be it actually since it is protected by this stuck and if we attack you can see the result so just shell And now for the heavy weapons inf as well. Okay. Do we have a shot if we attack? Well, actually we do. So. Hmm. Hmm. Now I, I'm in doubt again. We have to make some room for our infantry, but perhaps we'll go for another unit, you know, to purchase another unit and... Hmm. Okay, you can also, just in case, move closer, since it is possible that uh, this uh, 109 will attack one of the bombers and I want you close if this happens okay 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 and for other air defenses I think we should move them as well uh, just to make you know room okay now now well, you can move here. Okay, no disbanding on this turn. Uh, not anymore, of course. Uh, so. So, 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 so. Okay, you move here. You attack. Oh uh, yeah, the unit has retreated, too bad. Uh, but at least now we can bring another unit closer. Or do we go for yet another air defense and disband an inf? Uh, hmm. Maybe even purchase paratroopers here. This was the idea. Let me check something. Infantry, paratroopers... No, we do not have enough prestige. Too bad. So no, just come closer. <coughs> now let us check if we can provide at least some of the units with fuel and ammo. No. So casualties again. Yeah. Save the game and give the enemy its turn. Then hope for the best. <laughs> I'm afraid this will not be good enough, and I'm still so pissed because I have allowed uh, for this mistake to happen with the Spitfire. Uh, but okay, by guns. Let us see what will happen. Okay, good.
So this one, then message me is now gone. So is this one, if we are lucky. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn it. Shit. Shit. And also, moving of this air defense is proved not to be such a good idea, even though, you know, um, the thing now is, um, when I was studying the battlefield in the, the previous turn, I'm more worried, as far as our navy is concerned, about this Messerschmitt's 110s than 109s, uh, since they have plenty of fuel and could har harass our navy. Uh, also, you know, have naval attack of 2, while Messerschmitt 109 only has n naval attack of 1. So, maybe it wasn't such a bad idea after all. Uh, fuel of 22, fuel of 29, uh, yeah. Only bad that, you know, we did not purchase yet another air defense here, but who can actually predict each and every time what will happen? nearly impossible. So, uh, save, gain a little pause, study the battlefield, be right back. Yo, I'm back. Um, yeah, time to change the attitude. Uh, like in the movie Enemy at the Gates, when Nik Nikita Khrushchev arrives in Stalingrad and says, I want our boys to stop shitting their pants, you know? So, you know, into the next gear, I was just thinking about an inspirational song, like Come Mr. Taliban, tally me banana, midnight come and me wanna go home Deo, deo, midnight come and me wanna go home So, enough, enough is enough is enough Sure, we have suffered some you know, setbacks uh, because of me, basically, because I was stupid, but come on, let us begin with the fight. I studied the battlefield, we are doing well, we'll prevail, and, you know, there is not a goddamn thing the enemy can do about it. So now first we'll destroy this bloody, or actually cripple, this bloody 109. Come on. Okay, nice. Now we'll fly our bombers to attack these strange moving creatures in the mountains and woods. Nothing happened, but you know, at least we are doing something. Retreating constantly and whining and everything. Come on, attack! Cool. Uh, now our hurricane will join the effort and strafe this inf. Now for the most um, sweet part, we'll prepare a trap for for one one oh nine at least. Here, please fly here. We destroyed after, of course, we give elite replacements to our Spitfire. This will wait, however, for a while. Since first we'll attack this one oh nine here. Yeah, 
border results all across the border however we still have more air defenses so now we attack you you know what go fuck yourself again better and yet again and now we finish off this Messerschmitt 110 with our Spitfire the one in good shape so here we go die How the fuck did he fire first? But okay, no damage. <coughs> okay, much better. Now we'll shell this inf into oblivion. Well, starting with this artillery here. And again. Wonderful, and will damage this one as well. Enough is enough, right? Let's give them hell. So, with 300 and I mean 234 prestige remaining, now we give a lead to our speed. Yeah, we are consequently out of everything but we'll take over some non-victory objectives gain more prestige and cause more problems to the enemy that's the whole idea battleship advance for you I'm not sure at the moment but also our fleet will now advance now why did I not concentrate on single units well, the idea was to cripple plenty of the enemy units. Didn't work because of some very bad uh, RNG uh, luck. But, but, you know, at least we are in action again. Uh, and, uh, so now our units will, naval units will advance. Uh, just let me check what this battleship can do. One, two, three, four. Five, and with the range of five, one, two, three, four, five. Not in range just yet, so we advance like crazy. here okay elite for everyone my treat okay uh, you will stay put for the time being Matilda can however come closer uh, but we'll park it in the woods, so it can still reach this hex, but is also protected by the air defense. So, huh, the boat still guarding the sub. What we can do, we can actually give this infantry a transport. Mm, do we want to do this? since very soon we'll, you know, try to get also some of the sea transports in action and, you know, we need plenty of units here in the south. 
So nothing else to move. Let us save. Give the enemy its turn and see what happens. 